Okay, today we have the Yamaha MDF3. This is a MIDI recorder slash MIDI playback device. Let's get it on. Okay, so what I want to show is this installation we made. This is a floppy emulator which can be used as replacement for the old floppy drive where you can save on a USB stick. Okay, so let's uh, let's just choose another disk. So I choose now disk. It's called demo disk seven on the display. Mm -hmm. Good. So I will now go to my device and I will click here. And now it search i look to the content on the disk. So there is David Bowie something. Let's go forward. The human. Let's go again. Some of the pens. Want some of the van. India. Yeah, sure. And something else. Okay. So let's just take this with the pens mode. Yeah. Good. So just for the short explanation, this device does not have any built-in sounds. It only handles MIDI data. So. What we have done is we have taken a cable from the MIDI output and run it to the MIDI input on our profiled MIDI device. So this will play back and you know, receive the MIDI from here into the MIDI input here. Okay? So now when I click play, then it will receive the MIDI. We can hear that it loads. And as it plays back, we can see the counter. Good, so let's just stop it now. Okay, so this is just a short illustration how to load a disk into uh, the memory of MDF3 and how to play back the uh, MIDI. What you can also do of course is that you can you can choose a blank disk. Let me just try to do it from here. So I have a folder. We do a bit faster. So we go in there. And I have a folder here with something called blank disk, you cannot see it because the camera is a bit out of focus, yeah, so this is a blank uh, disk, that means basically a, a blank, <laughs> an empty disk, okay, uh, I will click again here, so now we have song 1, and then we can basically, if we had a MIDI keyboard plugged into the MIDI input of this device, then we could record our own MIDI notes and then send the MIDI to the blow field and record it and that will be how that will work. So we basically click here and here and now it starts recording. So if it received MIDI then it would uh, record it and you will see this one called MIDI up here. This LED would be blinking and then after when you're finished you could just click on uh, pause if you want to pause of course or you just click on stop. Yeah. Um, that's it. That was a short video which shows the USB floppy drive installation in an MDF3 from Yamaha. Thank you for watching.